Kings 4, New International Version. The wife of a man from the company of the prophet cried out to Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead, and you know that he revered the Lord. But now his creditor is coming to take my two boys as his slaves. Elisha replied to her, How can I help you? Tell me, what do you have in your house? Your servant has nothing there at all. She said, except a small jar of olive oil. Elisha said, go around and ask all your neighbors for empty jars. Don't ask for just a few. Then go inside and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour oil into all the jars. And as each is filled, put it to one side. When all the jars were full, she said to her son, bring me another one. But he replied, there's not a jar left. Then the oil stopped flowing. She went and told the man of God, and he said, Go, sell the oil, and pay your debt. You and your sons can live on what is left. I want to emphasize when she said, Your servant has, your servant has nothing there at all, except a small jar of olive oil. <clears throat> I picked this one because it talks about valuation of what you have. Uh, she was focused on what she doesn't have. That is, it might be, I don't have this amount of money to start a business. Or from a non-business perspective, it can be, I don't have this amount of money to do X thing. Which is what she wanted, not what she needed. Instead of, of focusing or of saying, I have a, a, jar of, a jar of olive oil, that's what I have. I want to sell it. I need some bottles to sell it. But I don't have the money to buy some bottles. So I'm going to ask around my neighbors for some bottles, which is no expense. She doesn't... You know, she doesn't, there's no expense on that. And uh, this is what she was, she needed to focus on what she ha has, on what she has. And uh, Elisha even told her, what do you have in your house? So this verse taught me to discipline my want for my needs and to value what I have and organize it.